Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. This is day two in our mini three day craft series. And these are items that have been purchased mainly from Poundland, but there is something also from Home Bargains as well. So what we're going to do is take items in these stores and basically revamp them and decorate them slightly different. Um, now this Buddha came from Poundland, it was in the pound section, um, and I'm going to change it using paint okay so it's not going to be a huge drastic change um whereas the heart was considerably different really to how it started um now i just want to tell you about this paint i'm not going to use this today but this also comes from poundland it's a chalk finished furniture paint so if you wanted to paint this in a cream color you could use this spray paint if you wanted to um just cover something around the back while you're spraying um, so there's always that option now I really like the deco art paint um, I've had this for quite some time so um, this isn't a sponsored video by any means this is just my paint I bought a couple of years ago and I want to show you um, so they do a metallics range you've got your silver your normal gold and then kind of a rose gold kind of color I think they would look really really nice um, they do lots and lots of different coloured paints um, but for instance they do some really nice greys I think that's quite nice it wouldn't be that much different to what, what we've got now but maybe it would fit your house a little bit better than kind of this stone colour that again is very similar but it would look maybe just neater if you did it in that um, and then you've got a darker grey as well but you could literally paint in pink if you wanted to if that kind of fitted in with you know what you've got um, now I did think about all sorts of things that I could do to this head you know, I'd even joked with the kids that we could give them a bit of a bow tie, but um, obviously I was only messing around. Um, so we are going to paint him. We are going to use the metallic paints and um, I'm going to use the silver metallic. And um, let me open it and show you. So it is quite creamy and quite nice there. So I'm just gonna grab a brush from the top. Okay, right, so we're just gonna dip in the metallic paint and I'm just going to literally go straight on. And it might need a couple of coats. I'm not 100% sure. So I'm painting this over the top of the camera. That's a bit tricky. But what it's gonna do is it's just going to change the appearance, make it look a bit more glossy, a bit more kind of glam. So I'm going to go over this now with one coat of paint, let that dry and then I'm going to go over it again. Right, we're back and it's finished drying and I think it's a really, really nice colour. I love the metallics and I just think it's covered really, really well. So what I'm going to do is just to glitter it up a little bit. Um, now to do that, I'm going to do it in probably a couple of stages. I'll do the front first and then I'll let that dry and then I'll turn it over and probably do the back. This is just so I can glitter it okay. Um, so to start with, I've just got a piece of paper here, a large piece of paper, and I've just folded it in half. I'm going to lay the Buddha head down and then get some Mod Podge and I'm going to paint it over the top. Now, I don't need this to be too thick. Um, it just needs to be like a layer. Um, just going to move around the other side here. So just kind of do it in little sections. I'm going to turn it around just so you can see what I'm doing up here. So I'm just painting it on. And I don't want it to be too thick. Although it will dry clear, you don't want like loads of splodgy bits. Um, because sometimes if it's too thick, it won't, it won't dry clear. And then what I'm going to do when I know that this section's coated... I'm going to get some of this glitter, just normal um, white glitter, and then I'm going to sprinkle it on the top. Now, I haven't got a lot of this left, um, so that's why I'll be saving the, um, the bits that drop. So I'm just going to do it like that, and I'm doing it in a couple of sections just so the glue doesn't dry too quickly. And then I'll do this other section here. I've got a bit too much glue on my brush. I mean, you could do the whole of the top part together. I was just worried it was going to dry too quick. And don't forget that the um, Mod Podge will act as a sealer as well, just in case you wanted to 
give the paint a little bit extra protection so that's all coated I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more over the other half and then once this side's done so I'm going quite carefully once this side's done I will um, turn it over and do the other side so just turning round just so you can see very carefully lift it up slightly so that's sparkly and that'll dry I don't know if it's picking it up but that is really quite sparkly and that'll dry quite nice so I'm just going to leave that to dry for now and then I will do exactly the same thing on the back and here we have the finished Buddha's head. So I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I've just bought it up the house. I'm not going to leave it here on the fireplace. I think I would have painted it gold if I was going to bring it up the house and put it with um, the mirror. Um, I don't know if it's picking up on the screen there, but it is really quite sparkly and it does look really nice in um, sort of real life. So I hope it's picking it up a little bit on camera. So again, that's just an easy, simple thing that you can alter and um, make it nice really for any kind of decor in your house now just quickly i just want to show you this part we started i showed you in video one how you can do this with the little decoupage idea and ebony finished this pot off for me so i'm just going to put that by my desk and just put some pots in it but i just wanted to show you how nice it can look so that's it that's the end of day two do pop back tomorrow and we will be um altering the little tea light holder there so um i'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye folks